Hi, this is Dr. Arun Kannan, orthopedic hip and knee surgeon from Apollo Hospital, Chennai. In this video, I will talk to you about dislocation after a hip replacement. Hip replacement is a fairly common surgery nowadays. It is done for sometimes for hip fracture, sometimes for um, osteonecrosis or avascular necrosis of the hip joint or for arthritis. A lot of you would have heard that the hip is a ball and socket joint and in a hip replacement, we replace the ball and the socket. Sometimes unexpectedly after surgery, the ball can come out of the socket and this is what is called a dislocation. It's often a fairly painful uh, event and patient is suddenly not able to walk after a hip replacement. Then one of the things is to consider a dislocation. So commonly after a hip replacement surgery, we tell patients to maintain certain positions till the healing happens. It takes generally one or two months for the soft tissues around the hip joint to heal and therefore we tell them certain restrictions in position based on the surgery. If these are not adhered to, if the patient moves in the leg in certain manner which is uh, sort of destabilizing the hip, then it can lead to a dislocation. If this has happened in the immediate post-op period or if it has happened for the first time, we commonly do what is called a closed reduction, meaning without having to open the hip again, we are able to pull the leg and put it back into position and this often stays well if the component position is correct. The other reasons for the dislocation are the angle of the components not being in the exact manner where we want it. Meaning we want the cup in a certain position, the ball in a certain position to avoid a dislocation. If this has not been exactly achieved at surgery, this also can lead on to a dislocation. Third reason is improper length in the hip joint, meaning uh, the length of the original hip probably was not restored or there is an imbalance now. This also can lead on to a dislocation. If either the component position is wrong or incorrect or if the length is not balanced well, then there is a possibility that there can be a recurrent dislocation, meaning it can happen again and again if you pull it and keep it back, it again dislocates after some time. So this is a slightly difficult problem to consider and evaluate and treat because it is a painful event and it happens again and again, then we have to find a solution. Solution is to correct the cause. So in these situations, we have to often find out which component is not in the exact right position and then change the component position. This usually involves a redo or revision surgery to change the position of the component and reinsert a new component in the correct position. Nowadays, we have another tool called a dual mobility hip. We use this often for these unstable hip joints. In dual mobility hip, there is an additional joint inside the original socket and this gives a double movement within the hips and gives a very good protection against dislocation. So for this lady, she had a hemi replacement of the hip and dislocated twice while she was in Assam. She had the original two surgeries in Assam. They redid the surgery and again it dislocated. And one of the causes that we found was for in inadequate or improper balancing of the leg length in this surgery. So we went in, corrected the leg length as well as we put in a dual mobility socket and she has been stable now for more than three years. So dislocation is a very rare event after a hip replacement surgery but when it happens it can be quite painful and dramatic. First dislocations are often treated by closed reduction just by pulling the leg and keeping the component position in but if the dislocation recurs then we have to correct the position of the components and this usually involves a redo or revision surgery and this can be done quite successfully. Thank you.